Have you ever wondered what is photography? Nowadays, we see hundreds of pictures around us on social media, on newspapers, and on billboards. Well, photography is an art. It is an art of observation. It is not about the things we see. It is about the way we see things, the way we look at things. It is like a painting made out of light. You see, photography is a medium of communication. Great photographers spread their message through photos. The message that you get after looking at a photo matters. So let me talk about some famous award-winning photos that created history and are immemorable. The first photo was taken by Rodrigo Abt. He is a photojournalist working for Associated Press. This photo has won the Pulitzer Prize for breaking news photography in 2013. This photo depicts a boy named Ahmed mourning his father's death. His father, Abdulaziz Kher, was killed by an Syrian army sniper in Italy. This photo was taken by Manu Bravo, a Spanish photojournalist who worked for Associated Press. This photo has also won the Pulitzer Prize in Breaking News Photography 2013. This photo shows a man carrying his dead son. His son was killed by the Syrian army on October the 3rd, 2012. This award-winning photo was taken by Nilofa Demir, a Turkish photojournalist. This photo shows a boy who is dead on the beach. The kid in this photo is named Aylan Kurdi. Nilofa came across Aylan on a beach and took a number of photos. Aylan was born in 2012 in Syria. During the civil war, Kurdi's family had moved to Turkey. They had plans to go to Greece. They boarded a boat which was going to Greece, but it capsized four minutes after sailing. Alan's brother and mother also died in the accident. Only his father survived. This photo has won the World Press Photo Award 2006. It was taken by late Chris Hongros. Hongros was working for Getty Images. Here, we can see a girl crying. Her name is Samar Hassan. Her parents were shot by the US troops in northern Iraq. Her parents died instantly. The troops thought her parents were suicide bombers, but they turned out to be normal civilians. This photo was taken by Mukhtar Khan, a Kashmiri photographer working for Associated Press. It has won the Pulitzer Prize in Feature Photography 2020. This photo is of six-year-old Munifa Nazir, a Kashmiri girl whose right eye was shot by a marble with a sling by a paramilitary soldier. She was standing outside her house in Srinagar. This photo is called The Vulture and the Little Girl. It was taken by late Kevin Carter, a South African photojournalist. He used to work for rioters. This photo has won the Pulitzer Prize for Feature Photography 1994. Here, we can see a girl who is malnourished and is dying. In the background, we see a vulture who is looking at the girl as she is dying. We can take out many meanings of this photo. This photo shows the consequences of a famine in Sudan. This child is believed to be a boy, but we are not sure. It is said that the child is a boy named Kong Myung. He survived the famine but died in 2007. Well, this is just a theory. The last photo is called Napalm Girl. This photo was taken by Nick Ut, a Vietnamese American photographer. He worked for the Associated Press. The photo won the Pulitzer Prize for Breaking News Photography 1973. Here, we can see a naked child running in panic. The kids are running away from the napalm bombs. They are running towards the group of international journalists who are reporting on the war. 
Researchers have found that one in six children worldwide are affected by war and conflict. Children are facing increasing levels of violence in conflict zones. Their number is also increasing rapidly. Since 2010, there has been a 300% rise in killing and injuring children in war. A lot of children are also being recruited for army and militia groups, and one in three sexual violence acts are on children in conflict zones.